Good morning, movers. It's Tracy of Move Daily Fitness. Okay, we are here in our October week fit for fall, and today's workout, we're gonna do a power hour. This is a favorite on my channel here. Here's your format. All right, so you've got one minute of a lower body exercise, one minute upper body, one minute cardio, and one minute abs. I'll show you some modifications as we go through it, so you make sure that you work within your own ability. If you're just joining us for our Fit for Fall week and you've missed the first couple of workouts, go ahead and click the card at the top there. That'll take you back to the beginning of this series. We're working out for six days in a row here, and uh, we're looking at fitness, nutrition, and making sure that those things are intact for optimal fat loss. Today's workout, you're going to require a variety of dumbbells, plus a small little bench or chair. I'm only gonna use that for one exercise, and uh, if you don't have one, I'll show you the modification. All right, let's do it. All right, I'm gonna use the first round in this circuit as warm up. Feel free to do an additional warm up if you want. You can click the card up there to follow that one. Otherwise, we're starting with the goblet squat side lunge, alternating, okay? First round, no weight. Here we go. So squat low and then side lunge. Squat low, alternating sides, good. So round two and three, we'll hold some weights, but we'll just get our inner thighs warmed up with zero weight. Round one here. All right, so again, lower body to start, upper body, cardio, and abs. Okay, repeating everything for three rounds. Excellent, that should be fun. Looking forward to this power hour. It's been a while, hasn't it? If you normally follow our YouTube channel, power hours are a favorite, as I said, and uh, it's because they last an hour. They're long, they're hearty. I will give them that, they are hearty. But, um, you feel great when you're done. All right, 15 seconds. Then we're gonna move into a plank row to rotation. I'm gonna grab some lighter weights for round one. Just to warm that up, you could do zero weight to start if you want. All right, grabbing light weights. I just got my eights here. You're gonna be in plank position. Okay, you're gonna row, then down, then rotate, switching arms. Ready? And here we go. So roll up and down, rotate, press, switch. Up and down, rotate, press. Good. Your body is like a plank here, like a board. Bum is not up in the air, back is not sagging. Good. And I'm nice and controlled in this action, not super fast. You're halfway through. Don't forget that full row at the bottom, then turn and press. Also, if you find that the dumbbells hurt your hands, feel free to rest your hand on the ground while you're doing the other action. Cardio coming up, okay. We're gonna stay on the ground for some windmills. All right, so get those weights out of the way. To modify the windmill, you're gonna be up, high bump. You can just step, side, lift. Otherwise, we'll run it out like that. Ready? Here we go. Okay, for one minute, this is gonna be work. I'll tell you that much right now. But that's okay, that's why we're here. You can also modify this further by just tapping your legs side to side in a regular plank position. Woo! The shoulders are burning. Over halfway. That's it, get those legs up to the side. Kick, kick. Ooh, that's a burner, isn't it? 10 seconds.
three, two, and rest. Okay, moving to your ab. I'm gonna grab a weight. We're gonna do a boat rocker. I'll start with a light weight, five pounds. You're gonna come down, and as you sit up, you're gonna press to the ceiling. Here we go. Good. This will give you a slight chance to bring the heart rate down. Now, as you see, my feet only come up to about 45 degrees here, not to 90, okay? You wanna use your abs, not just momentum to help you get up. All right, switch hands, keep going. And press. Going back to the goblet squat side lunge next. Round two. In four, three, two, and rest. Okay, grab a weight if you want to for your goblet side. Whew, that warmed me up. Get ready. In three, two, squat low, side lunge. Low, alternating side. There you go. Reach your hips back and keep your upper body tall in that squat. Yeah, that windmill's work for one minute. That is for sure. Halfway here. And also, after each four minute circuit, if you wanna take a longer break, you do that, okay? Just pause the video. That is fine. 15 seconds. In four, three, two, time. Okay, I'm gonna try my 15s on this plank row to rotation. It might be hard on the press, but we'll see. Let's take it slow, that's what I'm gonna do. In three, two, plank, up and down row, turn and press. That's not horrible, up and down row. I'm gonna go on the floor though, that feels better for my wrist. With this heavier weight. Remember you're trying to row between your hip and your weight, uh, hip and your waist. Not your waist and your chest. Right? 15 seconds, row, in five, four, three, two, and rest. Oh, shake those arms off, get off them because you're, you go into the windmill, right? Yep, you are, okay. We got this in three, Two, here we go. If you can get your bum up there, get it high. Kick those feet out. Shake my wrist out for a second. All right, get in it. Let's go. Oh, 10 seconds. Woo! Almost there. Three, 
two, rest. Oh. All right, Bo boat rocker. I'm gonna go with my eight this time. Get ready. Three, two, here we go. And press. Nice little shoulder work too. Sit up nice and tall here. Couple more on this side. Last one here. All right, switch hands. Nice and tall, let's go. Press. That other arm can come out beside you on the floor or you can just hold it out in the air, that's fine. Whatever works for you. Five seconds and going into round three. Great. All right, grab your heavier weight. Move into the goblet side lunge. Quick sit for me. Yes. Delicious. Ready. Here we go. Goblet low. Because you're so much leaning forward on that side lunge, make sure you stand up tall before you descend into your squat, okay? Halfway. seconds. Three, two, and time. Okay. I'm going to go back to the 15s for my row rotation, plank row rotation. You pick what you like. And four. Three, two, get into that plank. Nice row. Turn and press. Good. work, but it's not horrible on that press. So you're using a little momentum, not from a dead stop, right? Do what you can on here. Like, throughout this whole thing too, if you feel like by round two you could have done more, make sure you up the ante on round three, okay? You can always break. Five seconds. Yes. Okay, windmill. Oh. Get off those wrists. This is the hardest one for me in this circuit. Ready? Three, two, let's go. Hard 
on the shoulders. And the clothes are falling off. Okay, ready, boat rocker. Final one, then a little break. Here we go. Back. Press tight tummy. Really put your mind in your abs here. Try to avoid thinking about the momentum. Press down, thinking of your abs. All right, switch your sides. Here we go. Definitely work for the shoulders after those last two exercises there. You're gonna need your little bench or step. Okay, the exercise is gonna be an explosive side hop like this. Okay, drive the knee up. Without the bench, just do it here. All right, legs first. You're starting with a reverse lunge side leg lift. I'm gonna hold eights in my hand for a total of 16. You're gonna reverse lunge side kick, all right? 30 seconds aside. Here we go, then we'll switch. Now, make this as heavy as you want. You want to hold 15s or 20s. Feel free. Halfway on this side. Hard not to curtsy on this one. Whew, see? That leg is burning already. That stationary leg. Switch legs. That's the beauty of um, burning out the one side. Instead of alternating all the way, you really get to feel that work on the one side. 15 seconds. Upper body, you're gonna elevate your feet if you can for a push up a side plank move. Okay, I'm gonna put mine on my couch. You can use a bench or your little step or do this from the floor. Feet are up, you're gonna do a push up, and then bring the leg across for a side plank hold. Crazy, ready? Let's do it. Push up, here. Push up. Let me quickly show you from the floor. We've been modified from knees to side plank right there, okay? Lots of variations. Here we go. Don't let your back sag on the push up. 15 seconds. jump. So one leg is hitting that box nice and hard. High knee on the other side. 30 seconds aside. Here we go. Drive that knee up. Use your hands. Burning. 
doing a weighted full sit up for your ab. Last one. Oh my goodness. That was work. All right. I'm going to my five. Line on my back. Dumbbell my hands. Come in overhead. Full seated position here. Not fast. Try not to use momentum. And controlling the down right here where the weight wants to pull. Control that. You're gonna have to use your abs to do that. It's good. Ooh, that cardio one kills ya. This is actually nice. Bring the heart rate down a bit. 10 seconds here. Going into that reverse lunge, side raise. All right, grab my 16s. Reverse lunge, side leg lift. In three, two, one. I'm very controlled in these. I don't wanna, you know, twist something or hurt. There's a lot going on with these actions, so don't rush through them. You want to make them more difficult, just add weight. Switch sides, right? Stay tall, you're halfway. Three, two, and time. Okay, push-ups, hardest one for me. Ugh. I'm gonna do it though. I'll just go slow. In four, three, two, here we go. Push-up, side plank. Light bump up. If you need to, prevent it from sagging. Halfway. A little break. Lace. 
10 seconds. A little hip flexor here for me. Definitely glute. One more. Woo! Okay, lie down. Weighted sit up. Hold the dumbbell. In three, two, here we go. Control. Make it heavier if you can. When you hold that dumbbell, right here above the, the abdomen, and then crunch up. That's where you're gonna feel a lot of that work being done. Now, you might be tempted to lock your feet underneath something, but when you do that, you're really just kind of using hip flexor to get your body up and not your abs, okay? Don't do it. Modify instead by eliminating the weight or just doing a regular crunch, okay? All right, round three. Whew, oh, wait, is this, are we having fun yet? Sort of. All right, reverse lunge, side kick. Ready, ha, here we go, low. It's all about balance too, isn't it? Especially when you lift that leg up, you get those weights. So work on that glute to fight for your balance. All right, switch sides. Oh, shake that out. You might find that you're a little bit more balanced on one side. All right, five more seconds, come on. Four, three, two, and lift. Okay, one more push-ups. It's one more minute. You can do this, anyone can do anything for one minute. Right? In three, two, start. This is hard though, I'll give you that. Hard for me too. Two, time. Ugh. 
everything I said. Let's go. This is a chance to start to slow that heart rate down by breathing nice and slowly. Slow exhales. Don't hold your breath here. high as I can. So my shins are perpendicular. Do you like that word? <laughs> perpendicular. I kind of like it. Um, to perpendicular, like just land the plane, Tracy, to your back, shins and back. Let me just tell you a couple other words that are my favorite, okay? Trajectory. I'm going to use it whenever I can in a sentence. Juxtaposition. That's a good word. I, I don't use that too frequently because how? Juxtapose, I like that as well. Trajectory, juxtaposition. Um, there was another one. Um, what was it? Melancholy. I just like the sound, it's a smooth sounding. I feel melancholy. I like that as well. All right, last one. See how fast that minute went by when I did that? This is fun. Front, raise, bicep. Curl, lateral. So your front, turn it. Bicep, switch, lateral. I'm gonna grab my five, that feels like it's gonna be too heavy. Okay, here we go. Front, bicep, lateral. Front, bicep, lateral. You got it, right? Up, out. What's your favorite word? Let me know in the comments below if you care. If you're like, that word rocks. Whenever I can use it, I'm doing it. The problem is I often use it in the wrong way. But that's okay, my husband's nice enough to point that out when that happens. He's so sweet that way. Just like correcting and such. It's very thoughtful. I like this, it's a good burn on the arms, eh? Easy for the biceps, but it's work for the shoulders, so that's good. And out, okay. Side shuffle for your um, cardio. You're getting low, you're shuffling side to side. Okay, modify that right here. In three, two, let's go. Travel, 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 travel. If you have a small space, you can't do this, feel free to just do some ice skaters, which is kind of like the mod that I just showed you, but you're jumping, okay? Someone messaged me the other day and said, um, where were they? They had to do a workout in a very small space, and she was grateful that they're, you know, they shed the mini bands to do that. And I said to her, I trained someone in a laundry room, literally. It's a small laundry room. He's actually fit a treadmill in there and a bench and some weights. And it's, and we're like sneaking around each other. We're going to grab the weights, but you get the done. Elbows and abs. Is your ab coming up? You're almost done here. Come on. Five seconds. Three, two, uh, killer. Okay. 
Find your back. Put your elbows at 90 degrees on the ground. You're gonna come up to your elbows, and then back down. Ready? So up to your elbows and down. You wanna add some difficulty? Legs are at 90. Up to elbows only. Hold a little pause there. Up. Let's get it out of here, man. Pause. Working that abdominal wall very nicely here. Hey, did any of you do that? Um, 30 minute abs only workout from last week. Please tell me your abs were sore the next two days. Holy, that was killer for me. I loved it though, like that feeling, they were sore but they weren't wrecked, you know? Yeah, felt really good. Check that out uh, if you haven't done that one. We actually are gonna do a ab and cardio workout this week, so I've got you covered this week, but if you want to incorporate abs and cardio next week, check that video out. Okay, that wasn't horrible. Back to our suitcase squats. Little pause. Three, two, start. Squat low and now watch your knees here. My client this morning was in the um, like in a reflection of a window and she was watching her knees in one thing and there was four of them there so I wasn't looking at her at the point but she's like holy my knee does turn in when I'm at the bottom and it's really helpful to either video yourself or check yourself out in a reflection or a mirror to see that those knees are not collapsing in especially when you do mini bands really important. Get low on this. You're picking up those suitcases. Doing it by yourself because you're strong. You don't need help putting that suitcase in the overhead bin because you lift weights for a living. Yeah, I told the guy that on the plane. He <laughs> ah, was trying to be sweet. I shouldn't have said anything. He was trying to be nice and I like that about guys or girls or whoever want to help. Okay, front bicep lateral, ready? But I'm all like, I can do this myself, thanks. And my husband was ahead of me, he turns around. He's like, yeah, that guy was trying to hit on you and you totally shut him down. <laughs> I'm like, I don't think he was hitting on me. Not everyone wants to hit on me like you think, honey. <laughs> Turn, squeeze at the top. Up. I like this combo. It feels fluid, like you don't get confused like some of the ones I've done. Turn, curl, or are you getting confused? It's not bad, is it? 20 seconds. Side shuffle is coming up. Stay tall. Last one here. Up, curl, and lateral, nice. All right, side to side, get low. <clears throat> this is a doozy. In three, two, shuffle, let's go. Make it fast, come on. My BCAAs are sloshing in my guts right now. Hey, also, BCAAs, branch chain amino acids, they're great for a muscle reparation. So my clients all take them. Um, I'm gonna do a little nutrition segment anyway, so you'll see it there, but um, it's great for repairing muscle tissue synthesizing muscle tissue and it's protein so it helps provide the body with additional 
nutrients, protein, and the branch chain amino acids. Abs and elbows. That was hard. So I usually take it ready, start. Um, I make it up before, drink a little bit before, during, and after workout. Hands up if you can. Now if you're feeling this too much in your neck, then you want to support the head with the hands, or both. Just remember where you got to on the ab lift, okay? That's the thing, you get to come up off the shoulder blades when you have the elbow supporting. Do as many as you can like this, and then you can support the head if you need. I've got my chin tucked down, and then I rest all the way back down to the ground, and up. One more round after this. Woo! See a little pause at the top here. In four, three, two, and rest. Okay, grab your dumbbells, suitcase squats. How you doing, guys? Good? Me too. Going in four, three, two, feet shoulder width apart, and squat pulse. Go as heavy as you can on this one. Good form, though. Push through the heels. He's tight, you have 15 seconds left. Boom, let's go. In five, four, three, two, and rest. Okay, biceps, front, lateral. <clears throat> Ready? Two, one. Whew. It's October, it's starting to feel like fall for sure. Um, we finally just turned back the fireplace on. The pilot light, anyway. But you know that, like that pilot light, this is like, you don't care, but I'm just gonna say it just to pass the time. Um, like for natural gas, it burns like up to $16, $17 a month. If you turn it off, it's zero dollars. Why would you just save that money for the five months that I don't use it, right? Buy myself a purse. Why wouldn't I do that? I'm doing it. I did it. <laughs> I just have to go shopping for the purse now. Curl, lateral. Five seconds here, boom, curl out, yes. All right, side shuffle, it's coming up. <clears throat> Get ready, in four, three, take it low, two, and go. <clears throat> Make sure your back is flat on here too, okay? I had a client the other day, it was so rounded in the back. And that's just a tightness in the, in the glutes, in the lower back, hamstrings probably. Just pulling everything into a rounded position. Stick your butt out, stick your chest out. 30 seconds left. Almost there, get lower, come on. Now pick up your pace, boom. Here, two, three, two, three. Eight seconds, go, go, go. Five, four, three, two, up. Uh, time. 
Elbows and abs. Hard. Okay, on your back. Ready. And crunch here. And up. I like this one, especially if you pause at the top. That feels really like it's activating. Inhale as you go down, exhale as you ascend. Up. Up way. Come on, girls. When I've checked the analytics, there's like 90% of females who watch this channel. 10% male. I feel pretty sure no male is doing this with us right now. But you never know. If you are male and you're doing this, please comment below. I'd love to connect with you. Ugh, ugh, it's hard. You got one more circuit. You can do it, right? Ah, no, you can. Legs, you're doing a single leg deadlift, okay? Opposite hand from the leg that you're standing on holds the dumbbell. Knee is soft, your hinge at the waist, and then standing. Ready? Let's do it. Slow, slow, quick. See how flat my back is? Tummy is tight. I come right to parallel floor right there. Slow, low, good. I'll call halfway. Reaching that hip back. Glutes are firing here. One more on this side. Good, now switch. Knee is soft, low, low. This requires balance. If you need like a, a chair or a couch to stabilize yourself, that's fine. Slow, slow. I just pick a spot in front of me down on the floor. So everything stays neutral, and I stay focused on that spot. Chest flies to a crossover is coming up. Grab eights or tens for this. Whatever you can tricep press, basically, you're gonna require for weight. So, I'm on my back. I'm hitting a chest fly with rounded arms. So fly here, I turn, cross them over in front, back to the fly. Take a few seconds to figure it out if you need. Here we go. So, open, open, turn, cross, elbows are at 90 degrees, and then open again. Now we're gonna switch directions of which hand's in front. Open, turn. Right at 90 degrees, those elbows come, so you hit the triceps, not the shoulders, pushing that weight back up. So I've got my eights here, and for the rep range of a minute, I feel like this is pretty good for me. Press up, open. Good. Are you getting it? Arms are really not bent on that fly. You're rounded, so you're using that pectoral minor to get the weight back up. All right, three two, and cross. Great job. Let's move into our cardio, which is gonna be two high knees and two little hops, right? So your wide feet, your one, two, jump, one, two, okay? Eliminate the jump for the modification. One, two, wide, up. One, two, and up, up. This is kinda like dancing here, so if you're not coordinated in the dance department, this will be tricky. Boom, boom. You can just do a squat jump if you want. I just think it's fun. Woo! Right? Up, up. Cross leg crunch coming up. So I want you to grab your heaviest dumbbell because you're gonna hold it behind your head. We're not lifting it, we're just anchoring ourselves down. Woo, 20 seconds here. This is hard. Good. 
Seven seconds. Up. Boom. And time. Ugh. Pukey. Okay. Cross the legs. Hold the dumbbell behind the head. Leg is crossed here. You're going to crunch up and slow. Up. Slow. Here we go. So it's like a hip hop. That leg is crossed. If you can't cross it for some reason, you're here with both legs. Up. Really control. Try to control the down as well. All right, switch legs. Slow. Reach the ceiling. Nice to have like a 20 or 30 pound weight behind you. So you can really control this. Even at 15 pounds, mine is lifting up. In four, three, two, all right. Oh, good. Let's go back to that single leg deadlift. Doing great, everyone. Close to done. 10 more minutes of work. Ready. Knee soft, hinge, two, three, and up. Slow, slow, good. Reach your hip back, putting your mind and the glute and the hamstring on that stationary side. And keeping the weight nice and close to your legs, okay? I, I want it like it's head on tracks, down my leg. All right, switch sides, knee soft. Hinge, hinge, up. Now you've got that ch uh, chest fly crossover coming up. If you could have gone heavier, if you need to go lighter, think about that now. Woo! All right. Set it down, get into position on the ground. It's good, I like it. All right, on your back, chest fly, crossover, ready, and start. Open, turn, 90 degree arm. Really work hard to push that uh, weight up to straight arms before you go into that fly again. Then straight, open. they can do and guess ready and we're hopping to high knees and jump but sometimes they hold out on me a little bit because then I'll give them a heavier weight and then they can do it with totally good form I'm like hello you're holding out on me body fat, right? Adding those elements in. Up. Three, 
two, time. <sighs> okay, cross leg crunch. Get on your back. Hip hop with the cross leg in three, two, here we go. Try not to rock it at the bottom like this and then swing your leg up. Go from stationary, then pop. Up. There we go. Up. One more on this side. All right, switch. I like to sing things that don't require that, but deadlift. Sometimes in the morning, ready, here we go. My daughter will come down and like I'll have had a coffee but nothing to eat yet. And she's like, you are so spazzy. But I can't help myself almost sometimes. I sing, I clap at her face, <laughs> I snap my fingers. She's like, why are you like this only around me? I'm like, that. I'm not, that's the thing. I'm like that around my clients too. And I haven't been tired yet, so there's that. Hyper. All right, switch sides and then reach. Oh, just having fun, you know. Is what it's all about. My mother was like that. She'd come into the room in the morning, whip open our blinds, and start singing morning songs. So the apple doesn't fall from far from the tree, Piper. You also will be doing that to your children one day. All right, down in that chest fly crossover. Last time here. Make sure you have good form. In three, two, and start. Here we go. Do you have traits about you that are similar that to your mother? Maybe it's something that you don't love. Maybe it's something that you find endearing. Lots of things, you know? But it is funny how, uh, I mean, how could it not write on the state of your life when you've grown up with it for years and years and years, right? You're going to emulate some things and the things that maybe bothered us about our mother, sometimes we go in the total opposite direction and try and go as far from that as possible and vow never to be like that at all. I think I have both. I think we all have both because no one's perfect, so you can't mimic yourself after a perfect person. That, that doesn't exist. So everyone's gonna have their faults and their good points, and then we get the brilliant opportunity to pick and choose how we wanna be in our lives, right? All right, there you go. Let's stand for that hippity hop two high knees, two squat jumps. Last time here, so let's kick it. Ready, and let's go. Up, up, jump. Come on, this is your last like minute and a half of work, okay? Because you got 30 seconds left right here, then you got your abs, and then that's it. You're done for the day, come on, push. Get low, get low, up. Burning glutes. Okay, in five, four, three, 
three, two, one. Okay, on your back, last cross leg crunch. Holy Hannah, that was hard. In four, three, two, go. Reach the ceiling, come on. Pop her up. Last one on this side. All right, switch legs. Here we go. Up. Control your down, control. Going straight to the ceiling. Come on. Almost there, girls. Up. Last one, last one. Ugh. Yes. Congratulations. You move daily. Join me for this stretch if you can. Let's start with just a butterfly stretch here. Get into that groin a little. Hey, and don't forget to check the show notes below because that's got more information on how to eat, wh what to do nutritionally to lose body fat, okay? So all of that is linked below. You have to make sure that you check that out. We're not gonna spend too much time on extra videos on that, but all that information is below for you, okay? Woo, my heart rate's still up a little bit. Let's hinge forward at the waist here. A nice, slow, deep, regular breathing here. Grab your shoe if you can, just to increase that stretch. That feels amazing. That's it, good job. All right, so regular workouts is a really big part of being um, losing body fat, of course. Um, being consistent, consistent is the key. Now, that being said, not everyone can train six days a week. That's not, that's not accessible for, for most of us, right? We have jobs, we have children, we have commitments, we have aging parents, we have teenagers, whatever it is, um, it, it's not feasible at times that every single one of us could spend an hour a day working out. So throughout this week, you'll see there's some 30 minute workouts. And I think if you put your mind into your muscles and work with intensity and you know ahead going in, cross that leg over here, you can work out really intense and get a great workout out in 30 minutes. Um, sometimes it is nice to put more time under tension. That's what helps progressively overload the muscles. So that's why you have some hour long workouts because that's what's going to help shift and change and also burn calories, which will help you burn body fat plus build muscle, which will help you burn body fat. Okay. But, but the consistency is the key here. Let's switch the leg. So I have a, I have a lot of clients that I've trained and a lot of people have a lot of excuses. Everyone has the same 24 hours in a day legitimately some who are insanely busy like top realtors um, um baby doctors lawyers um construction workers they have full-time commitments and they still you know decide i'm gonna get up at five whatever it is make this commitment make this sacrifice and train myself for what i want my body to look like so bring your arm across here if you want it if you really want it, you, you chart out your life so that you can have it, right? Again, it may not be totally feasible to do a full hour at any given point, but it could be feasible to do 30 minutes every day. Like break down your day and kind of look at it. I, I spoke at a workshop last week and a group of the guys that I spoke to were construction workers who sometimes wear 14 hour days, hauling a chip rock, climbing up stairs with large ladders, bring your arm up and over, roll that wrist. And I said to them, part of what you need to do in that regard is when you have your days off, that's when you focus on your fitness. You know, if it's the weekends, then, then you plan and schedule when you have the time. But during the job that is not sedentary, because their job is incredibly moving, active, think about some of the actions that you do as exercise and, uh, and really be mindful of the actions that you're doing. So there was this placebo study, study that came out uh, I'll quickly tell you this story. You can go if you need to, but stretch to the chest here. Uh, it was based on these chambermaids who had 
uh, been asked, do you guys exercise? And all of them didn't regularly exercise, so they all said, no, we don't exercise in our day to day. Is your job exercise? No, they didn't consider it exercise. So they split the group in half. Half the chambermaids were coached that everything that they did in their job was actually considered exercise by the by the uh, World Health Organization. They got optimal amount of steps in. They they were lifting resistance lifting by lifting vacuums and doing this and that. Anyway, after a six month period of them being coached, encouraged, sent email reminders, um, it really charted all their change and progress. So I should have said, at the very beginning, they took everyone's blood pressure, weight, uh, measurements, BMI. So they did all those testing. So then at the end of six months, the group who were told that what they were doing was exercise actually achieved substantial changes in their health. Their blood pressure dropped, their weight dropped, uh, they made healthier eating choices, all because what they, they believed that what they were doing was exercise. So I told that to the construction workers and said, believe what you're doing is exercise and how it integrates into your body might actually shift to giving you the benefits that you actually want from exercise. So if you don't have a sedentary job, if you're moving all day, think of it like that and, uh, and really reap the benefit of, of uh, not having a job where you're sitting still 24 seven. All right, that being said, be consistent in your workouts. That's what's gonna help us lose body fat. That's what's gonna help you shift and change. As always, go move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition, and I'll see you tomorrow in the next video.